Hello and welcome to my reaction to the second episode of Koisuru Asteroid, the new Dogakobo anime and the first of 2020. Um, I've been watching, uh, I've watched the show like two times since uh, I did my reaction to episode one. Uh, I rewatched it with uh, the reaction from Tibu and from uh, Random Rumble Production. So I've actually seen the first episode three times now. But I can't fucking remember the main character name. I know the blue head girl, which was thought to be a boy, is uh, Ao. I know the friend is Manaka, I think. But I can't remember the name of uh, the main character. But it doesn't really matter. As you saw, if you've seen my reaction to episode 1, I was expecting greatness as this is from Dogakobo, and that's what I got. I really like it. The reception to the show seems to have been pretty great so far, from the community in general. So yeah, um, I guess now let's see uh, with episode two how the show goes. You know what's the the, dynam the dynamic like between all the characters and between the two sides. Uh, Astronomy Club and the Earth Rock Club. Anyway, um, as always, I'm using the Kiss Anime version. There is the Kiss Anime intro. Let's get into this in 3, 2, 1. Barbecue, yeah, there was this. Rocks. So she's from a bakery. That's why she's not joining the club. Moe Moe. Okay, it's her last name. No, Moe is her first name. Holy shit. I don't know who's my favorite character yet. I really like the blonde girl. And I really like Ao. Alright. Naruhodo. She's really cute. Yeah. Opening. Yes, yeah, so I was wrong. She's not called Monica. She's called Moe. And I forgot the last name. I'm not good with name because I've seen so much. If you've seen my uh, my money and my, my anime list account, you can see how much I've seen. So these days, it's pretty hard for me to remember the name of a short show like that, 12 30 episode. I'm gonna make an effort for for reaction, obviously, but yeah. If I forgot name, sorry. But yeah, as I was saying, you know the blonde girl I really like. Oh, was pretty cute last episode too, and uh, I like uh, her, Moe. Um, she's not cute. I mean, she's cute, but she's not cute. She's uh, she's more like the audience character. She's the shipper of the the character. You know, she ships the the main girl and Oh, so I like that. But in truth, they all have great character design. I also like the. The redhead. I 
Let's go. The Riverside Milky Way. Your life, huh? okay. I know this one, I've seen them before. I have a bit of a story about picking rock, I'll tell it uh, after the episode. I guess. She did so much squat, she's done. I didn't mention, but I really like some of the outfits. Oh, and uh, the redhead, particularly. Pretty cute, pretty nice. Fair enough. Title drop. I've never actually looked at the star with a telescope. Not even like a toy or cheap one. Hmm. I wonder if that's a real mark. A real brand, sorry. Mark is a French word for it. Vixen. That's a real brand. Vixen Telescope. for over 65 years. All right, so I guess they're sponsored. That's cool. That's good uh, sponsorship. I think I'd probably be pretty shit at it because I've tried looking with a, uh, I don't know how they're called, the small, uh, my vocabulary is so limited, it pisses me off, but you know what I mean, and uh, I'm really bad at uh, adjusting the focus. That doesn't surprise me.
practice I guess I'm a Leo too That's good. I definitely like one day too. Look at this star with a real expensive uh, telescope. That'd be pretty interesting experience, I think. The Lyrid Meteor. I'm sure you will, but the question is, will it happen in season one? That's lewd, very, very lewd. I don't approve. Well, so, wasn't it the sensei that wanted to do the barbecue? And she's not here? That's sad. Uh, shooting star. Once again, something I don't think... No, I have never seen a shooting star in real life. Oh, she's here. When you call... When you talk about the devil. That's nice. I really like those uh, those kind of star drawing thing. That's nice, but I don't think your your thing will be dirty. Yeah.
Is it a sister? She's pretty cute too. I mean, obviously. Is she a writer? Then just ask what she meant. So she was Show me. No. I'd buy that right away. Not even joking. Just for how funny it is. Are you going to draw a story? Holy shit. Okay, in the manga. That's perfect. Holy shit. Already, that was fast. What? What's going on? Okay, the sister is helping and she's popular, I guess. Alright, some fun service, that's fine with me. That's good. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Fair enough. <laughs> well, except the viewer for once. Chloride bus.
I like that she tied the uh, error uh, in a bun like that rather than keep it in a ponytail to get in the bus small detail but I quite like that kind of detail Yeah, but they're not natural. What is this? Yeah. Shit, that looks really good. Holy shit. That's a uh, very, very wallpaper worthy. What is it? Ah oh, shit, wasn't translated. Maybe some soap or some bath water or something like that. And it's over already. There may be an after scene. Nah, I think it's just a preview. But whatever. Yeah, that was uh that was a fine episode. Um one thing that I don't think I will need to mention every episode is how good this show looks and it's definitely gonna keep being that way I can't think of any Doga Kobo show that didn't look good all the way through at least from since they've become a cute girl doing cute things show maker studio mm, yeah that was a good episode uh, favorite parts I don't know. None to that much. I like to more or less everything. Man, the. The fucking animation on in descending of the air flowing, the the clothes flowing is really something. I don't think I'm gonna get stir, uh, tired of staring at it. Mm, not watching the preview. Uh, anyway, yeah, Vixen telescope. Um, so I guess I can tell what I was going to say about rock looking in a way. Um, the, the job I had for the last year and a half was cutting tree and kind of vegetation in river. There were um, basically too weak to withstand some uh, 
huge flood, flood, uh, but at least some kind of tree that would get uh, taken out and damage bridge and st st things, like, things like that. So the work was very clear using chainsaw and weed whacker. Um, but anyway, since we were in the river during the break, there was one or two people that were into looking for rock, looking for um, shell, ancient shell, you know, like uh, from thousands of years ago and stuff like that, or to look for rare rock and stuff like that. I didn't really learn any name or stuff like that because they didn't know anything, but just we were just sometimes looking for them. We found a few cool rock, you know, like volcanic rock, some uh, old school, not old school, some old uh, shell from like the time of uh, the dinosaur, you know. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm more close to the side of uh, the club that's about rocks than the side of the club that's about star. I've never really cared much about star. I mean, I'm pretty lucky. I've always lived in the countryside of France. Uh, I mean, the city I live in right now, there's like, it's not a city, it's like a small town. There's not even a thousand people. And all around us, it's like small village with like 50, 200 people. The, the closest uh, big city is like half an hour away. And there's maybe a few thousand people. So yeah, there's not a huge amount of pollution here, so at night you can see the star pretty clearly. So I guess I'm pretty used to seeing the star, which are pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's about all I had to, t to tell, all the story I had to tell. Good episode. Enjoying the show, don't think that will change. Um, once again, I'm just gushing about Doya Kobo. They're just the god. I mean... Fucking hell, how good are they? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.